You'll never go to the circus or a child's birthday party ever again. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and in this installment of Versus, we're pitting Pennywise against Art the Clown. For this showdown, we're going to find out which of these horror movie clown characters reigns supreme. Round 1. Background, Origin Story I'm not supposed to take stuff from strangers. Oh, well, I'm Pennywise the dancing clown. Pennywise? Yes, meet Georgie. Georgie? Meet Pennywise. Pennywise the Dancing Clown is just one of the many forms taken by the cosmic being known simply as It. Since this is a battle of the clowns, however, and given that Pennywise is the form that It most often takes, that's the one we're going to be focusing on. Also, referring to It as capital I It is just too freaking confusing. No one wants to play with the clown anymore. Play a game with me, would you? Anyway, we digress. Pennywise is billions of years old and originates from the space beyond the universe. Carried to Earth countless years ago by a meteor, Pennywise found a new home living below the area of land that would eventually become the town of Derry, Maine. Sustaining itself on fear, it rises every 27 years to feed on the locals, the town's children in particular. 27 years, I dreamt of you. I craved you. Oh, I missed you! Like so many other great horror movie monsters, Art the Clown's history is largely shrouded in mystery. Yeah, that's not funny. I'm about to scream. Hey! Handsome! Hey, cut it out! My friend wants your number! Across his handful of media appearances in short, feature, and anthology films to date, what we have managed to gather is that despite his relatively human appearance, he's actually demonic in nature. As his brand continues to expand, we will likely eventually learn more about his origins, but for the time being, Art remains an enigma, and that's a big part of his appeal. And because he's almost entirely silent, we've also never gotten any explanation as to what drives him. Art seemingly exists solely to kill and mutilate. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a yes. We appreciate Art's mysteriousness, but Pennywise the Clown comes into this first round armed with a rich and well-developed mythology, which arguably makes him feel more compelling. As such, Pennywise takes the first round. Winner, Pennywise. Round 2. Costume Design Across his various appearances, Pennywise has undergone some fairly significant redesigns. Aren't you going to say hello? Stephen King in the book describes Pennywise as wearing a silver clown suit with a ruffled collar and orange pom-poms. He's bald with tufts of red hair on either side and has a large red smile. In the 1990 miniseries, the character wore a more colorful and conventional modern clown costume, though the face was largely in keeping with the source material. Beep, beep, Richie. Come back anytime. For Andy Muschietti's It films, the costume design took a more Victorian spin, while returning Pennywise to his more muted color palette, albeit with exaggerated facial makeup. Time to float. Like the Tim Curry version of Pennywise, Art wears a pretty standard clown outfit. That being said, instead of bright colors typically associated with clowns, he goes for a more sinister black and white motif, which makes him look like he's just stepped out of a silent era film. The costume has evolved over the course of the movies, but remains largely consistent in its aesthetic. The most noticeable change is in the design of the character's face, which has gotten increasingly gaunt, angular, inhuman, and just all around disturbing. One look at this clown and you know that something's not right. Oh my god, you're never gonna believe what I just heard on the radio. Oh, and that black garbage bag he carries around makes for quite the sinister accessory. Both of these clowns are terrifying in appearance, but even when he breaks out his sharp teeth, Pennywise is less immediately intimidating than Art. The newcomer takes a round to tie it up. Winner, Art the Clown. Round 3. Scare Factor I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> you will be. Pennywise thrives on fear, and so he is rightfully an artist in the art of terrifying people. His survival literally depends on his ability to inspire fear. When people stop being afraid of him, he's robbed of his typically awe-inspiring power. That's why you didn't kill Beverly. Because she, 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 she wasn't afraid. And we aren't either.
because Pennywise isn't limited to a single form, shapeshifting is arguably his greatest tool for terrifying his viewers, and by extension, audiences. He takes the form of your worst fears and gives them life to truly terrifying effect. Pennywise has also got a real knack for picking his environments. Sewers, old dilapidated houses, the space under the bleachers… he understands the value of setting the mood in the worst way possible. Art likes to keep things decidedly simpler, but he manages to inspire plenty of fear regardless. Part of what makes Art so terrifying is that despite his odd appearance and supernatural abilities, he somehow still feels firmly grounded in our world. <laughs> doesn't keep to the shadows or even necessarily wait for the cover of darkness. Nor does he carry out any sort of elaborate plots. He simply steps into a mundane, everyday space, plays some mind games, and then carries out his evil deed. Art feels like the sort of horror movie villain who could already exist in our world, in some form at least, and might just walk into the room at any moment. This is a close call. <laughs> You got a plan B, man? What the hell do we do now? You die, that's what you do. <laughs> we are suckers for the cosmic terror that Pennywise trades, but the immediate and unrelenting threat that Art the Clown poses results in a more visceral sort of fear. And with that, he wins another round to pull ahead of Pennywise. Winner, Art the Clown. Excuse me, can I get a picture with you? Don, come on. Shut up. Round 4. Powers. Pennywise is a shapeshifter, but he is so much more. When the Losers Club squares off against this cosmic entity, it's a real David and Goliath type of story. Yeah, this is a missing. <laughs> You're not missing what you're saying. We're Swarman City of Dairy. That's my shirt. That's my hair. That's my face. Calm down, That's this my isn't name. real. That's my age. It, That's it, the date. Can't be real, Richie. No, it says it. His telepathy allows him to see into the minds of his victims and thus know how best to scare them. Let's dance! Hippie K, motherfucker! He's also able to create tangible illusions, telekinetically control inanimate objects, teleport, and cause plants to wither and die with a single touch. He's also got all the usual superhuman abilities like enhanced strength, speed, stamina, reflexes, and regeneration. Plus, he can essentially induce insanity. <laughs> Nearly invulnerable, Pennywise is an insanely powerful monster, even by horror movie standards. I'm every nightmare you ever had. I am your worst dream come true. Art refuses to be put in a box. Just as his origins are shrouded in mystery, so are the exact nature and limitations of his abilities. At first glance, you'd be forgiven for thinking that he's just a killer in costume, given that he always insists on getting his hands dirty. He certainly knows his way around sharp objects and human anatomy. But as we've seen, Art has certain supernatural powers. He rarely uses them in a fatal application, but does employ them in the hunt to help maximize the terror he inflicts upon his victims. He can seemingly manipulate technology, teleport, utilize limited clairvoyance, and mess with reality. Like all good supernatural slashers, he can also apparently regenerate. Both of these clowns have more than just an extra long handkerchief up their respective sleeves. But because Art the Clown's powers receive less screen time and are so ambiguous, we've got to give this round to Pennywise. Winner, Pennywise. No, 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 no. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Round 5. Style, Mannerisms, Demeanor Hi-ho, Georgie. What a nice boat. Do you want it back? Pennywise is terrifying to behold, and his powers have us shaking in our boots. But at the end of the day, it's his bedside manner, so to speak, that's made him so iconic. In both the miniseries and films, Pennywise is this sort of darkly charming figure. Kiss me, fat boy! 
Rita. <laughs> He's extremely creepy, but in a magnetic, charismatic sort of way that's hard to look away from. Hello, Vicky. Isn't that what your friends call you? Vicky? How did I know that? I guess I must be your friend, too. He's quirky and sometimes even downright funny, in his own twisted way. In the most recent films, actor Bill Skarsgård went the extra mile by perfecting the character's mannerisms in such a way that makes his every gesture and facial expression unnerving. In short, Pennywise isn't just another horror movie monster. He is a fully fleshed out character with a distinct personality. Where are you going yet? If you lived here, you'd be home by now. When it comes to killer clowns, they don't get much more sick or twisted than art. One of the character's defining characteristics is that he's silent, not unlike a mime. Even when he laughs, usually at something utterly depraved, he does it without making any sort of noise. Part of clowning is that you exaggerate your movements to make even mundane actions seem comical. Art respects this aspect of his chosen identity, but the activities to which he applies this clownish over-the-top behavior are stalking and murdering people at random. Two seriously messed up results. The theatricality of his methods is what elevates art from your run-of-the-mill supernatural killer to an icon in the making. Please, don't hurt my little girl. This was not an easy round. But we feel like we're still getting to know art, and that his most character-defining moments still lie ahead of him. As such, this round goes to Pennywise, the one-of-a-kind cosmic clown we've come to know all too well. Pennywise wins. Winner. Pennywise. See you in your dreams. Oh, come back anytime. Did we pick the right killer clown? Be sure to debate it in the comments, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to Watch Mojo for more entertaining versus battles.